Right, welcome everybody to day two. Hope you had a good rest, good sleep, and you are up and at it, ready to go for day two. Well done on getting through that first 24 hours of fasting. I'm here with you, so I'm fully fasted right now. I've been fasting for probably coming up on around about, uh, it's gone a full 24, because I started the night before, and then some more. Okay, so I'm not even counting, whatever it is. Down a bit. Uh, let's recap. Let's recap. Recap. Goals. Okay, you have your goals down. You have written your SMART goals down. Uh, you know exactly what you're going to achieve and by when. That is super important. You've written that down. You put it on a piece of paper and you've stuck it up on the wall where you can see it multiple places if you need to. Okay, it's important that you're seeing that, reading it, acknowledging it manifesting it we also need to acknowledge that mind state mind state is key mind state is the key to this once we unlock that puzzle within our mind of what we need to achieve um, with our mind reprogramming ourselves to achieve these goals then it's going to go really well for us so just understand that that mindset is key and we will be working on that training we've established what the training is boom right here okay we've got uh, 50 times squats 50 times perfect crunches and 50 times hindu press-ups now these are actually compulsory but particularly if you're coming in right at a beginner stage i want you to work through those i do want you to work through those but depending where you're at if you're obese very overweight this is what Okay, this is what we're working for. Priority number one is to get these steps in. We want to get the steps in. That is priority number one. If you're really overweight, uh, it's it's just about getting moving, getting the body moving, getting the heart rate up. Uh, and we don't want to get your joints too sore and everything like that while you're inflamed and while you're just getting into it. We will work into the strength training. So compulsory this is optional but highly recommended if you're wanting to achieve your goals okay food we know what's going on we're on a fast okay we are fasting hard we're gonna fast hard for 48 hours and then we're gonna reassess okay we're gonna reassess but if you are going to eat at the end of that period I will tell you what to eat within the next video okay Okay, let's move on to day two. Let's move on to day two. Motivation. Okay, motivation. Motivation is a thing that ebbs and flows. Motivation is not something that's stationary. It's not stagnant. Understand that even the fittest person, even the most shredded person has, has periods of time where their motivation is low. So, for you, what that means is just acknowledging that it's okay to be low on motivation. But, we need to fix that situation and we're going to show you how. Cool. Drivers. This is the thing we need to tap into within you. What are your emotional drivers? What are the things that really get you going when you think about what you want to achieve there's only two okay the two emotional drivers being confidence and health so there's two real reasons why we want to stay fit stay healthy uh, at a deeper psychological level one is confidence that all of us want to look good i'd assume okay all of us want to look good it's a natural thing to want to be proud of your appearance, to look good and be the best possible version of your specimen that you can be, okay? And that is a natural thing. Uh, I guess it's something sort of primal about attracting a mate and all these sorts of things of like we feel confident when we, we look good. When we don't look good, so when we're overweight, like in my situation, I don't feel like my actual self. 
Okay, I don't feel like my actual self, there's no alignment between how I look and how I perceive myself about what I want to be as a human being. And that is, I'm guessing where you're at as well, is there's, you, you see yourself and you want to be a certain way, but you're not there at the moment. Okay, so and that's, that's the confidence motivator. You want to look good. You want to be attractive. Okay, the other one is health. When there's serious health, health issues, I always have problems with that word health issues, uh, then it's a problem. You know, when you're in pain, when you need to have an operation, when there's diabetes, when there's threat of a loss of limb, where there's threat of early death, that is a serious, serious driver. So what is it for you? Have a think about it. What is it deep, deep down? Most of us, when we get ourselves overweight, I know for myself and speaking to a lot of people that I've trained, we will suppress these emotional drivers and just kind of push them down a bit. It's time to tap into those emotional drivers. Like for me, a big thing is, yes, the appearance, but it's become less so. But it's certainly there, like personal pride, walking around not feeling fat okay i'm running fitness sessions it's a little bit embarrassing you know like but i can still do my job and i can still perform but you know i should be a better example to my people rather than allowing myself to get overweight okay so that's that's an emotional drive for me it makes me feel motivated to now nah, i want to fix that situation um, the health side has become a lot more as well. So health is a huge thing for me. I have three children, two daughters, one son. And when you start getting to 41 and people are dropping off and stuff's happening, you go, okay, I need to get this sort of from a health perspective. So where are you at? What is your motivational driver? Have a good think about it. Where do you want to be? What do you envisage yourself as, as a human being? I know what I envisage for me, and I know what I envisage for you. For you and for me, I envisage somebody who just has a healthy lifestyle. They get up, they go to the fridge, there's healthy things in the fridge. There's healthy things in the pantry. Um, we don't do stuff that's... Um, not physical, like we're always involved in physical activity. Saturday, we go to the park for a walk. Sunday, we go to the beach for a walk. During the week, we do our workouts. We enjoy it. So it's it's a lifestyle. This is, this is what I see for you as the end product. I want you to achieve this. I know you can, and it is a beautiful thing. Cool. Moving on to the nutrition. So... This, this here of living a health and fitness lifestyle, I still live it. I'm active every day. But if we don't get this right, we can end up in the situation that I'm in where, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm quite active. I'm active all the time. I'm delivering multiple boot camp sessions every day. But you can still be overweight. And look, I'm living proof of that. So this, this nutrition, well done. Well done on getting through that fast. I feel awesome. I feel amazing. Because I'm fasted, it's keeping my mind clear and I'm focused on the goal. So well done on getting through that initial 24 hour fast. If you are feeling like dog shit, if you feel like dog shit sandwiches, feeling like crap, what you are potentially going through is something called the keto flu. Google it. But you're going through, I guess, a, a sort of withdrawal uh, withdrawal symptom from all of the crap that you've got coming out of your system. But it's also part of changing over an energy system where you're changing over from burning, you know, primarily carbohydrates and food that's in your system to now burning fat. So the whole body's having to really change gears, shift, shift focus and how it's working. And it's, you know, the body, the body finds it a challenge. So we're going to add something to the mix to help you get through the next 24 hours. Green tea. But not the crappy 
stuff that's got caffeine in it. I recently was lucky enough to go to China and I grabbed a stash of green tea. It's available everywhere as we know, but get the good stuff, the leaf stuff. It is an antioxidant. It is just something nice. Don't have it with boiling water. The Chinese will tell you, you want to have it with water that's cooled down a little bit from boiling and you can even have it with cold water and just put that in your drinks. It's a different flavor, it's a different taste. So that's where we're going with nutrition. Just to prime you, okay, just to prime you now for breaking our fast, know that we are not going to be having simple carbohydrates for the next 28 days. Okay, if you are on my on the weight loss mission to get the weight off, like we're not having simple carbohydrates. We are having our proteins, healthy fats, and a little bit of complex carb, okay, just to keep the system going. But we won't be tapping into that. So, and uh, we're going to be eating quite infrequently. So one meal a day, just to prime you for that. Okay, one meal a day, just to get you mentally ready. That's what's coming. There's a lot of literature around one meal a day, and it, essentially it's a it's a form of intermittent fasting, where uh, the window is just very short. Okay, we're still gonna get it going. You'll be fine. Okay, don't freak out. Training. Now we want to talk to you about some principles. What is the priority with the training? Just over here, ten thousand steps, and then we've got our strength program. The priority is on getting volume in, volume. So low, low intensity, if you're a beginner coming in, and volume. Okay, volume by the way of walking, really. Okay, walking. If you are past the walking stage and you are into your running, cool, go running. But tag on some additional steps of walking, okay, just to get the calories burning, and get the body humming. Okay, get the body humming. It will it will also be the same with our strength. Okay, work on volume. What I'm trying to get you through with the training here, with the 50 reps, just having a look, is we're going to hit. So, for example, we'll do our squats, and I'm going to take you through the workout directly after this. We'll do our squats and do 50. Get through them in sets. So if you need to do five sets of 10, so be it. If you need to do a set of 18, 17, and then 17, cool. Two sets of 25, wherever you're at. Same with the crunches. Same with the Hindu push-ups. So it's just pushing through in that manner. Now don't thrash it. Just stick with really good form, really good technique, and get the volume in. Once that volume is in and it's easily achievable, then we will start dialing the volume up. Okay, we start dialing the volume up on those and we'll push it the numbers higher. Then we can add additional exercises. So it's a really systematic long-term approach because there's other things to consider in here such as mobility. Okay, we haven't even added in a mobility element which is really important for us People who are trying to lose weight because generally we're lacking a little bit of mobility. Everybody is. Balance. Okay, so we're looking for balance in all things at all times in our training. What does that mean? That means we're looking for balance between strength training and cardiovascular training. We're looking for balance between strength training, cardiovascular training, and mobility training. We're looking for balance between the front of the body, the back of the body. We're looking for balance between the top of the body, the bottom of the body. We're looking for balance between muscle, individual muscle groups, quads to hamstrings. So there's a lot of, it's, we're trying to be a lot more sophisticated with our approach to training and not just go out there and mutton and thrash ourselves. We're rebuilding from the ground up. So that's where we get a look, this volume in. And now through our walking, the strength exercises. But balance will be a key component, and you'll see that as the program rolls out. DOMS. Okay, DOMS. And 
perceived rate or rate of perceived exertion, RPE. Couple of concepts, DOMS, will you get sore? Potentially. Do we want you to get really, 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 really sore? No. Okay, we don't want you to get really, really sore to the point that you can't train. Because if you can't train, you're not moving forward. We want you to be able to do this stuff every day. Every day throughout this program. Or six days a week. So therefore, if you go for a 10,000 step walk, and at the next day you're really, really sore and stiff, and you can barely go through it, well, you need to just stick with the 10,000 steps. Okay, stick with the 10,000 steps. You're not going to be pumping up massive walks yet. We'll slowly build you up incrementally. If you do your 50 reps of each, and then the next day you're really, 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 really sore, well, you're probably going to rest on the strength exercises. We're always going to do the walk because we know that our legs will have the endurance to get through that. But listen to your body. It's important. Okay, it's important because we don't want you blowing out. We want you to keep you moving, keep you moving, moving, moving. The rate of perceived exertion should be somewhere in that initially for a beginner, somewhere in that six, you know, six to seven mark. Put it in the six to seven mark. Cool. Okay, the final point for this video, day two, is our resources. There's a couple of resources that we're going to cover off. The first being My Fitness Pal. All right, so what we got here is the Play Store. We're just heading into the Play Store. Go into the iTunes Store. If you're on an Apple, search My Fitness Pal. Calorie Counter, My Fitness Pal. What I want to do is install this app. In my My Fitness Pal account, um, unfortunately, I need to change my weight. <laughs> 104, set that. The goal weight will be 89.9. Set that. I think it limits you on my fitness pal so lose it kg a week so that's what it's telling me would be my net goal ignore it okay save that off boom down 1.7 kg okay so here i am back in my fitness pal so i'm going to log my weight Right, so it was 104, it was, that was actually yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to log 104 on November the 27th. Hey, I can actually chuck these fat boy photos in there. Let's check. Yeah, it's a good fat boy photo. Okay. It's just taking me to different areas. All right, now I want to put in today's weight. Today's weight is 102.3. Okay, no photo yet, but we log it. All right, here we are, everybody. Let's hit our 50 squats. Boom, remember, counterbalance. Sit into the hole, not knees forward. Drop in. One. Two. Three. Four, five, really feel the toes squeezing into the ground. Six, squeeze the glutes, feel, feel the whole body engaged. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So what I like to do at the top of the rep, as I come up, squeeze the glutes. But I really vacuum the stomach and the whole, I guess this abdominal cavity here to suck everything in and squeeze. Okay, so it's a, it's that really getting that good activation through your glutes. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm going to break it into sets of 10. That's what I do with this for beginners. So we'll do that today. Okay. 
Next set of 10, we're straight in there. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, breathing. That's the next important thing. Okay, the breathing, the oxygen is what keeps the body going. So you want to be like, I really like to emphasize the, the in breath. Okay, the, through the nose and the, Just remember this whole thing's a muscle. So the diaphragm, so as you get fitter, all of this is gonna feel, feel better. Uh, you'll feel less puffed as you go. Right, we're into the third set. Good, feeling good. Shake it out. Now remember, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. Okay, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. The fact, the fact of the matter is that you're here. You're doing it. You might be fitter than me, less fit than me. It doesn't matter. Okay, the, what matters is you've committed your mind to your goal. You're going for it. And it's, it's going to happen provided that you go through this process. Okay, go through this process of fasting, really digging deep into your mind. Okay, let's go another set. Oh, front on. through my head what's going through my head is fuck I hate the look of my body right now that's what's going through my head so let it all hang out eh like I've been wearing a lot of baggy t-shirts hoodies all that shit you know hiding it fucking let it all hang out it's time to burn burn this shit off okay I'm gonna burn this shit off and I'm here with you and we're going to burn it off together. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, squeeze. Four, squeeze. Ah, squeeze. Five sets. Boom. Okay, these next two exercises, let's get into them. Okay, when you're a bit of a fat fucker like me, the hardest one that's going to be for me is probably this Hindu press. So I'm going to get in and do that bastard next. I probably should have done it first when I was fucking fresh, shouldn't I? Uh, the old Hindu press up, challenging. We'll get through it, we'll break it down. Let's go. Yeah. Hit the tripod, nice and steep, wide legs. Mobilizing my shoulders, yeah. Up here, shoulders, yeah, nice. And hemis, I lost count, I think it's six. Focus. Woo! Woo hoo! That's our technique. That's our technique. 10 Hindu press. Good stuff. So we know we got the option. We'll show the easier option on this one. I am 
cognizant. Jeez, I sound smart with that flash word. Cognizant that uh, some of us are uh, true beginners, we're just getting back into it, okay? So I'll show you the easier versions as well. Next step, easier version, Hindu press. Still wide, still tripod, don't just come as low. Boom, one, let's go. Two, make sure the elbows are coming back towards the body. Three, back towards the body. Not, not flaring, back towards the body. Four, five, the benefit onto the back there, yeah, yes. Bonus back and groin shape, six. What was that? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Four. Okay, so easier version, still challenging because you're having to hold all of that tension there, you know, through the upper body when you do it, so it's, um, even though it's an easier version of the Hindu, it's still quite challenging. Um, the thing I like about the Hindu press up is if you look into back, back care, back maintenance, the McKenzie method is that arching up method. This, this here, fixing, you know, lower back, herniation, etc, etc. So it just, it feels fucking fantastic on me when I do it, that exercise. Because of, uh, obviously the upper body strength, but the, the hip opening. Right, even easier version. Next, easy version. If you can't do the, either of those two, you've got these up the sleeve. Or, as you start to fatigue, on the knees, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good, 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 good. Getting a little bead on here. Getting a little bead on. It's quite warm here in my house. Uh, had to close everything up because it's uh, noisy outside for the microphone and then obviously turn all the air con heat pumps off as well so it's, it's heating up, it's heating up in here how many sets is that? three okay let's power through these next two we'll show the easiest easiest version of the push up the box push up here okay in this one down, nose to ground two, three, four, five Seven, eight, nine, ten, good. No need to add one of those flash timer counters. My fitness blender, just count it out. Alright, so we've got one more set and then we are through the upper body. So you can kind of see that these exercises are taking five minutes each or so. So this should be around about a a 15 minute workout, if it takes you half an hour, cool. If it takes you two hours, if it takes you a whole bloody day to get through these reps, no problem. Like if you're super busy, you can pop out 50 squats anywhere. You can pop out a set of 10 there, there, boom, break, there, there. Do it like that. Okay, last set, Hindu press. Do the full buggers. Tell you what, that is going to be a whole lot easier with 30 pounds off my fucking body. Perfect crunches, here we go, straight into it. Drop down, boom, foot on, here, arms across the chest, look to the roof, perfect crunches, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, 
four, five. So, break it up if you need to. Okay, if you can push through to 25, which I probably could have, all good. But I want to encourage you, this isn't about being as fit as me or fitter than me. It's not about being a rock star. It's about clocking volume, clocking volume over the day. Get a little bit of a burn on, obviously, on each set, but not thrashing yourself because tomorrow we're going to come back and do it again. Okay, 10 more reps on this side. One, two, three, four. Five more reps left in this workout. Cool, it's just going to get easier and easier for us, Tim, because the body will go accept what's happening. Oh shit, this is happening. Um, deal with it. Okay, deal with it. Remember, we're sticking to the game plan I am, which will be no weights. So we see the weights in the background there. Uh, my wife lifts those. Also, some PT clients. Okay, that we bring in fighters, train for strength and conditioning. Cool. Right, next one. Ten. Interesting. That's my weaker side. Okay, that is my weaker side for sure. Um, yeah, okay, so good to know, good to know. That will come into play when we start working on the balance of our, of our body. Okay, so we're starting to ID things that are going on the body. Don't just go through the motions like a mutton. Start thinking about your body. Even when you're out there walking your 10,000 steps, squeeze your glutes. Feel your hips. What's going on? Okay, what's going on there? All right, last set for Mark the Fatty. Two, three, four. Boom, got a bit of a beat on. Workout done. Sharp.